Hello Libra and welcome to your June 2015 tarot reading. My name is Nikki. Um, I've already shuffled and meditated over the cards, but before I begin, I'd like to say a couple things. If you are interested in a private reading, since this is a generalized reading, please visit my website in the description below. It is $15 per reading. Um, also, I'd like to say that if you do pay for a reading, um, please make sure to email me a response or a request. Um, I, I will need your name, your birthday, and your question, and you need to email it to nma21882 at yahoo.com. The email address is on the website also. Um, there have, have been a couple incidences where I've gotten paid, but then I did not receive the request. Um, for whatever reason, either it, it wasn't sent or it got lost, um, but when I do find out um, when that happens, I do try to, I will try to contact you, and um, if I fail to con get in contact with you, I will refund your money. So it's not a big deal either way, but it does cause delays um, in the readings. So um, anyway, <laughs> with that said, I hope that you do purchase a tarot reading. Um, just make sure to email me. Okay. So um, I'm going to be doing a little bit of a different spread this month, so hopefully you you like that. It makes you happy. It's a, a four corner spread. Can I leave that out wrong because I was talking? Okay. Okay. of this month you have the ten of pentacles and you have the six of cups so um you're you're coming into some money or some some resources it could be land it could be money it could be something passed down to you uh, but something that is generally valuable um, and this is generally something that's passed down, either through family. It doesn't have to be family, but it's generally that type of thing. Um, with the Six of Cups, that's memories. That's nostalgia coming back, um, generally speaking. Um, so I do feel like it has a connection with your childhood. Wherever this, whatever's being passed down, has a connection to the past is what I'm thinking um, and it could also be for those of you who have small children this whatever's being passed down it could be being passed down to your children or whatever this is it could benefit your children so that's a big part of what's going on this month the challenge and the challenge position of the month, you have the magician. He's been popping up like in every reading. There's something going on with the planets that's making everybody trying to control everything. Okay, and you have the Ace of Swords. So this is this is probably you, Libra, because you are an air symbol and swords are air. And you guys are very intellectual, um, even though some of you probably don't seem like you are, you are. You're, um, you're very smart, and you know how to get what you want. And you, you know, but this month, being in the challenged position, I think you're having a little trouble manipulating situations or talking your way um, through things like you generally like to do um, because that's how that's how Libras like to generally like to um, control situations or make things work. I mean manipulate is such an ugly word but we all do it we all try to um, put our little two cents in we try to uh, put what we want out there and you know we try to 
get things to go the way we want them to through different types of methods. Some are worse than others, some are better than others, whatever method that you use. But generally the method that you use, Libra, is your intellect and your communication skills. Um, and sometimes it's what you're not saying, Libra. It's not what you are saying, it's what you are purposely not saying. It's withholding information. So, but I feel like you're having a difficult time um, with doing that and getting it to go the way you want it to go this month. In the help position, you have the Ace of Wands and you have the Two of Pentacles. So, uh, whoever is coming in to help you, I mean, the Ace of Wands is a gift, a physical gift. This physical gift could be referring to this, and that could be helping you out. And I do feel like the, whoever is helping you out from your past is doing it because they notice how much that you've taken on, how much you've juggled, how much you've, you know, how hard you've worked, the efforts that you've put into everything, how you're balancing your life, your work, and your family, and they're proud of you. Um, and that's why you're receiving this gift. It could also mean that with your skill, whatever your skill is, whether you're a construction worker, whether you are a teacher, whether whatever your skill is, your career, your hobby, whatever it is that makes you happy, that, that part of you that you, it kind of defines you. It doesn't literally define you, but people put you in that box and they define you with that. With whatever that skill is, I feel like it's really going to help you out this month, um, just mentally. Mentally, it's going to help you out. But I also feel like, though, this physical gift that you're going to get from the universe, which is really coming through a real person, um, passed down probably through your, from your past, a person that you've known since you're, you've been a child, is because they've seen how much you're juggling with. I don't really feel like it's a charity case. I feel like they feel like you've earned this. Um, with what cannot be changed for the month, you have the Ten of Cups. And you have the King of Wands. I think that the, the person who is helping you is this King of Wands, or is giving you this gift, this passing this down, because this is somebody that is older than you, most likely. This is somebody who is, um, they could also be a fire sign, but they don't have to be a fire sign. This could be somebody just playing in that role, and it's a masculine energy, so most likely it's going to be a man. It doesn't have to be, though. Um, it's just somebody that you respect, somebody that is generally older than you, you look up to. This is a person who it was probably a hard worker themselves, and they got the job done. And perhaps this is, uh, it's either your father, it could be your father, it could be a father figure type. Um, but this person um, is... I don't, generally this person's giving advice, but I don't feel like this person's giving advice. I feel like he's actually physically giving you something so awesome. And I do feel like this person is connected to your family. Whether he's family or not, I feel like you think of him that way. With the Ten of Cups, you are just, you're happy with your life. Even if you are a little challenged this month with, with, manipulating things or controlling things the way you generally do um, or even communicating as well as you do or not communicating um, you're going to be happy this is destiny here this is what cannot be changed what has to be accepted and what an awesome thing to accept because that's like your happily ever after card you are happy and content with your home life, with your hobbies, with your career, with your children, just everything. 
you feel like I am satisfied. Okay, and with the outcome, you have Page of Cups and you have Page of Pentacles. So there's definitely some adolescence going on here. Um, if it's not an ad adolescent or somebody younger than you, it's somebody who's new at something. You could be dabbling in some new things. Um, with, with the Page of Cups, though, I feel like this is... This is a new event. This is generally going going through an ex, a new experience that you've never really experienced before. Starting something that is giving you emotions that you don't really know how to deal with because you've never had them before. And it's possible that when somebody gives you such a generous gift, you're just like, wow, that I don't know what to say. That <laughs> shuts me up. And I don't know how to feel because nobody's ever been that generous to me before. Nobody's ever appreciated me this much before. You know, that type of thing. And with the Page of Pentacles, you know, this could be you being like, okay, what do I do with this money? Do I invest it? Do I, um, do I hoard it and put it somewhere where nobody can find it? Do I... Uh, do I give it away? Do I give it to my children? What do I do with this money? What do I do? I, you know, um, this is something that, you know, you're like, I'm not, what do I do with this gift? I want to do something smart with it, but I've never been in this situation before where I've had to think about, hey, I got some extra money. What's the wisest thing to do with it? You know, you might go on a vacation with it. You might um, buy a new house with it. You might, I mean, there's so many things you can do with it. Um, I do feel though, the, whatever you do, I think that it's either, either this person's from your past or whatever this gift from the universe is, you're going to, to save it for future generations. So I think that's what's going on here this month. And keep in mind, it is a general reading. Um, but yeah, that is your reading in its entirety. I hope you found it helpful. If you did, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't. I do this every month and I will see you next month. Bye-bye.